desk from Wayfair. There's not really a uh, video on this, so let's get it. Just, you know, gonna do a video showing you all the install process. Um, you have three choices for installing it, so we're gonna do step B. And uh, yeah, it's like a ghetto version of Ikea. The screws came in this thing over here, right there. Uh, Got these little cup things. I like that it has the holes there, so you have you gotta remove all the stuff. There's two big panels from the top of this thing. Yeah, this packaging, I'm really shocked this thing held well because this packaging looks like crap. But um, yeah, so you got these whole things. Not a lot of desks have those wall uh, wire things. That's really nice. And um, yeah, so right now it's just telling talking us for installing these bars, and uh, let's see where we go. So this first step really is going through all these little metal thingies. There's only five, so you don't have to worry about, you know, the number order right now. Um, you have these things which are G. Um, what bag is it? It's in this little bag. And uh, you literally just screw these on each of these bottoms. Basically, these will screw out uh, to adjust for the height if it's wobbly or uneven. So I'm screwing them all in. So, I thought this was funny. Uh, yeah, you have spare parts. <laughs> Screwdriver, which isn't terrible. The uh, <coughs> wrench is, uh, it's not that great, pretty thin, but hopefully we don't have to need it. Um, you're gonna need B, which is these screws here. There's a crap ton of them. And uh, here's what they don't tell you. Um, you need number four for the bottom part here, which I don't know why they don't tell you, but basically there's two types of boards here, right? There is this tiny small hole and the bigger hole here. You want the bigger metal hole here. So that is number four. Uh, these are five, set them up, set them to the side because these are like side shelves, like finishing shelves. It did say the number on the bottom of it, but it doesn't say you, doesn't really explain how to, you know, what's the right way of this or that. So when you install these, these holes on the top of them should both be facing up, like so. And then just screw these in on both, on these ones with the metal ones. Two holes, one here, one here, there, and here. Has to have two holes exposed on the top. I almost made that mistake because there is one <clears throat> hole on the other side of seven. So two holes on the top. How you know you're doing it right. This gets better and better, man. So, next step is to get two of, what is it, 11? And it doesn't even say 11, so it's just these two ones will look the same because these are, there's two of 11, so, <clears throat> you know, remainder. Also, it says the arrows what direction all the four holes is supposed to be, so that is kind of cool. I didn't even realize that, so that's something we should know. One, two. All the four holes on each side are facing this way. So just use that as a reference if you don't know and the arrows confuse you. Um, and then also I couldn't find what was C. So it was the next big bag here. It looked like this. Uh, a bigger thing, bigger head than B. This is B and this is C. Same deal here, all of the four holes, or the two holes are the, gonna face the back, where this side doesn't have any holes. Um, all of those are C, so those are the big Jack Gunda head ones. Um, these there, here, except for this one, which requires the B and the little nut looking guy, F. And uh, yeah, it does look a little weird here, not gonna lie, but we'll see the, we'll see the final product in a bit. Okay, so now we're doing the crossbars. They're all the same, so don't worry about, oh, I did it the wrong way. Um, so you're gonna use the smaller screws B here, the not, not so big heads here. You're gonna put the little nut thingies there on all four of those sides. You know, obviously don't tighten it until you do the middle part here, which you're gonna use the big nut, and on that side is a tiny screw. Actually, as much as I hate this thing, there's this little middle thing is really nice. You can fit this in there, and then you screw on the other side, so it does a 
<laughs> that's really cool, not gonna lie. So tighten that and then tighten this and it does help with uh, strengthening this whole mechanism, so yeah. All right, first cheapo moment is when the screw just keeps on rotating endlessly, so yep, but uh, it's not going nowhere. Um, <clears throat> what is this? Two, three, one. So two, okay, so one has one, two, three, four. This is pretty standard, that's gonna go here. This one that has like 20 million holes, number two, just looks just like it, but you can see there's especially that little three dot thingy there that's gonna go, yeah. So. Okay, so if you have any other doubts about uh, the spacing being too wide, this kind of just puts it into place, but it goes without saying to, do not tighten in all of these until every single screw is like this, kind of like cocky a bit, you know, just a little bit. So you saw some give to shift and shimmy and stuff because when you put the little plates out there, uh, this thing, uh, I mean, this is kind of common sense, but for those people who want to rush things, don't put this first and then put that top piece on here and then you can tighten these screws because you, these things can move around a bit. So it's better to do everything in that order, as tempting as it is. Take your time, don't mess it up. So I messed up big time and I used the wrong one. This one of the plastic thingies are supposed to go down there. So I'm doing that, but the one of the metal one, it seems to fit pretty well. As you can see, it just kind of slots in there. It's really cool. You could choose, literally pick it up and slide it out and, and you choose what side you want. So if you've got a PC, you can stick it here or whatever. So that's really cool. Um, but yeah, so I gotta lift it ever so slightly without undoing everything. Okay, it is complete. And holy crap, do I have a few things to address. First off, this is the office. It's 10 by 10. It's a little messy right now. This is gonna go here, but you know, we just moved in. So this is the fun part of rearranging things. This is a small room for this desk and it is nice. It's freaking Nice. There's the door, put the whiteboard there. And is it? Not a huge, huge desk compared to my old Ikea. It's another Ikea, but it's comfortable. It's very, very good. Couple of things to note. Um, wherever your primary monitor is, is where you want the open space. At first, I really, I'm kind of pissed because I really, this is my main monitor. It's a 38 inch ultra wide LG monitor, curved, um, 21 by nine and it's got the height of a 30 inch monitor just like this Apple 30 inch display so the height is as big as that but anyway um, yeah I wanted that here the problem is is uh, you know when you sit down you have this thing in the way so you can't move all the way to the left because I'm a righty so my mouse would be here I want to be swooshed over the all the way here. So I'm a little pissed. And now I have to use this as the primary thing. <coughs> and I'm not happy, but to be very honest, it's kind of growing on me because um, the thing is, um, I thought about it. There's a window and mon the main monitor is here. People can kind of see from the outside. So eh, it's a problem. <coughs> but uh yeah it's not too bad so that's a bit of a workaround i added a keyboard here so this could be sort of like you guys seen um dwight from mega desk from the office the tv show dwight has this big super crazy desk two different computers so you can have another computer really nice of course you know with the tight space you don't want to be typing all the time here so that's great. You can have, I can have Linux or whatever on my work computer here. And then this is like my personal after hours. So a great desk. I wouldn't put like, I mean, it, it feels pretty sturdy. I just probably wouldn't put like a super heavy, heavy tower or like five different computer towers on here. It's not that sturdy. I wouldn't stand on it. I wouldn't feel comfortable standing on it, but I think it's good. Um, that being said, so this is my main tower. From left to right, I measured it at 
10 and a quarter inches. So, you know, you get a tower, you can easily do that. Um, like I said, the shelves, you could easily move around, but be very careful because it's not like attached securely. Like I said, you just kind of, you just drop it into place and you lift it and shift it. But this is my arrangement. So this is where I can have laptops charging and such. And then my tower here, you can rearrange it. Um, I think from here to here is 18 inches. And I forget, I'll put the measurements in the description, but this is basically, you know, the, the first one, um, put that below. The second one is this. And from top to bottom, I'll put the top, the, that measurement. But um, I think it's just under 18 inches for top to bottom. But yeah, I'll put it in the description. It's really, really not bad. And that's just to consider, you know. So the bottom there is my laser printer because laser printers are awesome. Kind of bummed because I was going to put stuff on the wall back there um, for like a, a network switch and things like that. But to be very honest, this is very nice and neat. I don't want to mess things up here. I'm happy with it. I'm really, really happy with it. And this is awesome. This is awesome. I'm trying to think of anything else, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, like it's not a super, I mean, I, I could put, I have a, a couple of tiny monitors I'm going to stack here. So I'm, I'm really excited. I'm, I've got, I'm going to make this look like the matrix without doing wall mounts and such. So I'm, I'm excited and, uh, like, comment, subscribe, you know, they don't really, I haven't seen any Wayfair L desks, um, which is a shame because, you know, they're not bad and I love Ikea. That's Ikea, that, that, all Ikea. But Ikea didn't have a good L desk. Because you have things here and such, so this was really nice. Uh, I don't know, I might, I, I, <laughs> I thought like of going crazy and swapping this to here, but then that dis that's disassembling everything and I just don't want to deal with that. So I'm okay with this. So, so yeah.